Today we are going to be solving systems of equations using the TI-84+. Plus. We will be using reduced row echelon form. Rule number one of solving systems is that they must be written in standard form. So standard form means it has to be x, y, z equals a number. So on this first problem here, I have to get rid of this positive z on this side. So the way to get rid of it is to subtract z on that side. But whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So my first equation is 1x plus 2y minus 1z equals negative 1. My second equation, I have to get rid of this positive 1y here. So I'm going to subtract 1y from both sides. I then get 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 3. My third equation is already written in standard form. The next step is I'm going to create a matrix, and I'm going to need the coefficients from my equations. The coefficients are going to be the numbers that are in front of the variables. So using your TI-84 calculator, we're going to go and we're going to insert our matrix into the calculator. So you push the second button, which is the matrix button here, and we're going to edit a matrix. I am going to create a three by four because there are three equations and the four stands for how many columns do I have. So this is a three by four matrix. And I'm going to input my coefficients into the matrix. You can hit enter to go on to the next box. Now, for this number right here, if I put a minus one and hit enter, it's going to already tell me there's an error. When you hit go to, it's like, hey, there's an error here because you used a minus instead of a negative. You must use a negative one. And the last one is a negative one. Second row is two, negative three, two, negative three. Third row, one, five, one, 18. You have now saved your matrix into the calculator and we call this matrix B. It doesn't matter which one you use. We're going to get off of our matrix. We want a calculator screen. So now we're going to go back to the matrix though, and we're going to go to we're going to go to math and we're going to look for R R E F, which stands for reduced row echelon form. So R R E F is going to tell the calculator to solve the system for you. So reduced row echelon form. Now we're going to go back to matrix and we're going to go select the matrix that we saved it to. In this case, we saved it to matrix B. And this matrix now becomes part of our answer. So these three, if you see three ones here diagonally, that means that this graph is consistent and it has one unique solution. And if it has one unique solution, these, and these numbers here are your solution. Your first variable is negative two, this is three, and the third one is five. So your answers are going to be two, negative two, three, and five. They might also ask you just for one specifically. So x equals negative two, y equals three, and z equals five. Again, because we saw those ones going diagonally straight down, this is called consistent and independent. And again, that references it has one solution. Problem number two. So I'm going to get off of this mode. I'm going to start back on a fresh screen. Okay. So write them in standard form. Luckily, my first equation is already written in standard form. The second equation, I have to move that 6y. I have to get rid of it here. And I have to make sure it's in order. So I'm going to put it in between the negative 4x and the 4z. My third equation, I'm going to move the 1x I have 6x plus 9y minus 6z equals 30. So I'm going to go and input this into my matrix. So second matrix, 
I, I'm going to go to edit. Now, guys, you can select any one. I'm going to go ahead and select C. And I'm creating a three by four. My coefficients are two, three, negative two, and ten. My second row, negative four, negative six, four, negative twenty. My third row, six, nine, negative six, and thirty. Remember, that is only saving the matrix into the calculator. So second quit. Now we're going to go back to second matrix. We're going to go to math. We're going to go to math and do reduced row echelon form. All the way down to B. And now we're going to go select the matrix that we just saved. So second matrix. We're going to pick matrix C, which is where I saved it. Ah, now notice here, you do not see three ones diagonally. That means that this does not have a unique solution. Now, I always look at this bottom row. I have straight zeros here, and I say zero Z, does it equal zero? If the answer is true, if zero equals zero, then that means that this graph is consistent and dependent. Okay, let's write that down. Consistent. and dependent well what does it mean to be consistent and dependent that means that this graph would have infinite solutions that means that these three planes because we're dealing with xyz here these three planes are not just lines are actually all exactly the same one okay the next question Again, we need to write them in standard form. Now, guys, if you're missing a variable, I find it easiest to make sure you put a zero where that variable should be. That way, we are creating our matrix. We know that we need to put a zero in there for the coefficient. The second equation, I need to get rid of this positive z here. So I'm going to subtract it on both sides. And the third equation, I am going to subtract the 5z. But also notice that I do not have a y again. So using your calculator, we are going to go to second matrix. We're going to go back to edit. And we're going to do a 3 by 4 again. So we're going to put our coefficients. The last row, negative 2, 0, negative 5, and 10. So again, don't forget to put your zeros where they go. We have saved this matrix, so we're going to go to second quit to go back to the calculator. Second matrix, we're going to go to math. And we're going to look for the RREF, reduced row echelon form. And we're going to select the matrix we just created. Now, again, three one diagonal means one solution. When we had zero equals zero, that was infinite solution. So this time we have zero equals to one. Is that a true solution? That is not a true solution. So this problem is actually inconsistent. And if your matrix is inconsistent, that means this graph has no solution. These three planes will never intersect in one spot. 